is the enemy. All right, we're, I want to come to you guys with a very spiritual aspect. What's happening is the enemy is using all of this stuff to create division, and he's using it to create hate. Right? I mean, is that not the theme of everything that's happening with the tension? Is this hatred? And it is crazy. But God is, do you guys know this? There's three, there's three little words here. God is great. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Love. Life. And we could put so many things there. You are so right. God is love. And what's happening is the enemy is using all of this stuff to do, go directly against God and his love for all of mankind. And it doesn't matter who you are, where you came from, what language you speak, what color you are. It has like, no difference to our great God. He loves all a lot more than we can even imagine. How much he loves you and your neighbor and your friend. He loves us. And so all of this craziness that's going on is the enemy working the opposite. You see that? Creating hatred and division in this tension. So as the church, what we want to do is rise up as Christ followers to actually do what he has called us to do. And in situations like this, when we know that there's a spiritual aspect to it, he's called us to pray. Right. And, and one of the scriptures that we like to point out is 2 Chronicles 7.14. It says, you, you were Then if my people who were called by my name... Here, here's what I want to do, though. Because we're going to walk through this together. So will you guys say this aloud with me? Okay. This yeah. scripture? Are you ready? ready? One, two, three. Then my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and restore their land. <laughs> Two Chronicles, <laughs> Two Chronicles seven fourteen. Let's leave that up for just a second, guys. Because here's the deal. Um, here's the deal. The cool part in this is is God is saying, "I will." Right? I will. It's a promise. When He states it like that, it's a promise. I will hear from them. I will. I will turn toward them. I will forgive their sins, and I'll do what? What's the last part? Restore their land. How many times have you heard this week, either in your house or on the news or from friends going, what's happening to our country? Our country is going in the pits. Have y'all heard it? Yes. Y'all heard Like, I've heard it so many times. It's, it's craziness. But this scripture is it's written as a promise. If. There's an if statement. Do you see that? If my people do this then I will do this. So we have to do our part. And then there's that part right there that says, if my people who are called by my name will do what? Humble, will humble themselves. Look, so it says to humble ourselves and it says to pray. If my people will humble themselves and pray, I will heal, I will forgive. I will hear from heaven. I will. So that means we have a part in this, right? We get to play a part in this. It's really super, super cool. Our part is to humble ourselves and pray. So I want to invite you guys to do something this morning. I don't know if y'all have ever done this before, but I think today is a very, very appropriate day to do this. Do you know that scripture makes it really clear that a very, um, a beautiful way to demonstrate humility before the Lord, to show humility before the Lord, is to go on your knees, is to go to your knees. That is a beautiful demonstration shown to us over and over again in Scripture. So I'm going to invite you guys. Joe and I are going to go to our knees today, and I'm going to invite you guys, if you'll just right there in your seats where you are, we don't have to do anything like super, super magical, if we would all just humble ourselves and go to our knees. Can you all do that right there where you are? We're going to do exactly what the scripture says. 
can turn towards your chair. You can turn towards your chair if you'd rather do that. You can face the front. You can do whatever you want. But listen, we are we are demonstrating humility before the Lord. It feels awkward, right? Because submitting yourself to something other than you feels feels kind of weird, right? But we're going to humble ourselves before the Lord, and we're going to do exactly what it says, and we're going to pray. Okay, so if y'all will join me, let's just let's just bow our heads.